I am desired by Shaw, Shrewsbury and Lillywhite to ask if you will form one of the team, in which case I shall be happy on their behalf to communicate terms to you, which I am sure will prove satisfactory. Yours sincerely, Mr. Henry Turner. P.S. If you know amongst your circle of friends anyone whom you think would be likely to take the trip, I should esteem it a favour if you would kindly send me his name and address. Should prefer international players, if possible. On March the 10th, 1888, 22 rugby players set sail from Plymouth, England. The obstacle race was considered a very good thing by the ship's crew, but I must say, when I saw the obstacles placed in the way of victory, I cried off, along with many others. The first obstructions were through wind sails, about 21 feet long, just wide enough for one man to creep through. Nolan and two sailors disappeared under the wind sail, with many anxious faces watching for their appearance again at the other side, but they didn't appear. And after watching the three men struggling amid much laughter, the wind sail was let down, and the men got out almost smothered with flour which, unbeknownst to them, had been put in there by some sailors. 46 days later, they arrived in Dunedin, New Zealand. The first Lions tour had begun. The tour was captained by Robert Seddon. His interview with the Otago Witness on July the 13th, 1888, provides a fascinating insight into playing in New Zealand. They are heavy men and good scrummages. We do not believe in too much scrummaging and try to make the game fast and open. And why should we push through nine men when we can screw the ball out much quicker? And besides, the play is much prettier to watch. The New Zealand leg of that tour provided entertainment on and off the pitch. The team secured six wins, a draw and a loss. Shrewsbury, the tour organiser, was unhappy at the loss. We simply lost the match through our players not taking care of themselves. Too much whiskey and women. The players rallied for their trip to Australia and finished the tour with a record of played 35, won 27, drew 6 and lost 2. Although the first tour was not without tragedy, Robert Seddon was the first lion to be lost to the team, drowned in a boating accident whilst on a rest day. His connection to every player who has ever donned a lion's jersey was cemented by the visit to his graveside in 2013. After a year on tour, they returned home. Always competitive, forever sociable, and pioneers to a man, those first Lions unknowingly planted the seed for the greatest touring team in world rugby.